Sometimes you can catch one. Oh yeah. One underneath my bait right now. Come on, dude, eat it. Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, one of them's looking at it. Oh, going towards it. Come on, dude, eat it. Oh, got him. Nice. I don't know if it's a person or an animal I'm hearing over there. There's something right down here by the creek. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> I hadn't been here in a long time. I don't know if there's gonna be fish in this part or not. I don't know how long there's been water standing here. This place fluctuates a lot, it's really weird. Sometimes there's water like all the way up to this wall, but sometimes there's no water at all in this part actually, I think. Or just like barely a trickle. But down that way there's a pool of water that's always there and then down this way is the other pool. I'm surprised I'm not seeing any good bass swim around here. Bunch of good rock out there. Big boulders and everything. Not seeing any good bass in here yet though. Kind of wild. Oh wow. Bunch of little bass right here in front of me. Little tiny guys. Where's your mamas? Ooh, there's a couple of little bit bigger fish underneath my bait. Oh yeah, little bass. Come on. Ooh. Oh, golly. One of them took it for just a second. Oh, one of those fish is actually pretty decent, it looks like. Golly. One that went way out there. I wonder if that's the one that bit it and then got spooked a little bit. I don't know, there's still several of them following it still. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. Three or four bass right underneath my bait. A couple of them look decent too. Come on fish, eat it. Oh my gosh. They're still just hanging out right underneath of it. Trying not to work it too fast so it doesn't get too close to me, but I'm also trying to give enough action where they'll eat it. Holy! Right here in front of me. One of them kept going. Golly. There was three or four of them behind it at one point there. Plenty of water right here too though, man. There should be a good fish in here. Or some more good fish, I should say. I saw a couple of pretty decent ones, I guess, just now, but I don't know exactly how good they were. It's pretty hard to tell a lot of times. Just seeing fish in the water. Sometimes you can catch one. Oh yeah. One underneath my bait right now. Come on, dude, eat it. Oh, there we go. Come on, dude, eat it. Ooh. There we go. Nice. Whew. Need to stop talking, pay attention to my bait. It was a fish tracking it down the whole time. That was cool. Dark, dark fish. 
just a little large mouth but <laughs> that was a really cool catch right there golly real healthy guy oh no got him in the gill a little bit there bleeding just a touch but try to get him unhooked here real quick get him back in this cold water should stop that bleeding real fast all right he's not bleeding that bad anyway just a little bit just a little bit of blood beautiful beautiful bass though real real dark been up here in the shallows just eating Woo -woo. that was cool real fat little sucker golly super healthy little bass thank you for playing buddy that was fun <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that was cool anyway like i was just saying it's kind of hard to tell how big a fish is in the water until you catch one and then you can kind of compare it to what else you've seen in the water that one right there was probably about as big as the ones that i was seeing under my bait so they weren't real good fish but decent little guys that also would have been fun to catch but i'm not going to complain that one was cool right there that was a really cool bite oh bunch of bait fish i just scared from up shallow here turtles oh yeah tons of little bass holy cow there was a bunch of stuff up in this corner Yeah, this water is really, really shallow right here. Up against this edge. It's shallower than I thought. Ooh, there's a couple of decent bass right here, though. Ooh, one of them's looking at it. Ooh, going towards it. Come on, dude, eat it. Ooh, got him. Nice. Come on, dude, eat it. Ooh. Got him. Nice. Nice. <laughs> that was awesome. Just like that last one. Just saw it for a second. Turned right towards it and ate it. Oh, yeah. Even a little bit better than that last one. That is not a bad fish at all for this little creek. That is a thick healthy bass holy cow that is not a bad one at all came up off that little ledge right there i was just talking about how shallow this water is but right there there's a little ledge where they were hanging out this bass came up and absolutely blasted that popper that was really cool <laughs> that was awesome right when these people just walked up too they came up here to fish and immediately saw me catch one <laughs> oh wow yep his buddy's out there too waiting right out there off the ledge probably looking for where his friend just went to <laughs> anyway that is not a bad bass at all right there really small mouth but golly he is super super healthy really really nice bass for this tiny little creek actually that was fun that was really fun goodness gracious he's gonna grow up to be a really really big one if people keep letting him go and letting him grow see you later buddy <laughs> that was awesome like i said there's another one sitting right out here too he just came up off the ledge he's up here in the shallows right now looking around ah uh, he got spooked by that cast though brother just got one we'll see what he just got is it a bass yeah nice yeah that one that i just caught off that ledge over there i saw him for a long time following it and all of a sudden he just came up and poof, blasted it it was cool i'm gonna need yeah i'm glad we stopped here this was a cool little stop to make 
There we go. Wasn't too bad. Not too whoop. bad. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right, whoop. buddy. <laughs> well, there he goes. <laughs> there he goes. The self releasing fish. Oh, yeah. A couple fish up here on the sledge again. Every time you leave and give them a little space, a couple more come up in this little pocket here. It must be a pocket where they really like to trap minnows. Nice little V cut in the ledge right there. You can probably trap right in that little corner. I'm gonna head back this way, fish the other side of this little berm here where there's another pool of water. A little bass behind it. Come on. Ooh, yep. <laughs> little dude came out of nowhere and ate it. Oop, almost got him in his eyeball. Got him right on the edge, right on the edge of the socket. <laughs> Pretty little guy. Bunch of blue in his face. He had a big old stomach. <laughs> Big ol' appetite. And I think I found me some deeper water now. At least right on this side. I think there's a little ledge actually, like over there where we started. Where I caught that decent one. Not as severe of a ledge, but definitely a little ledge right there. Oh yeah. A little bass behind it. Definitely some life here. It's a person or an animal I'm hearing over there. There's something right down here by the creek. Oh. Oh no. It's a fox with a broken hind end. Golly. That's not good. Wish I had something to put him out of his misery because he's probably not going to live like that. Golly. That's sad there. Oh, wow. There went a nice buck. Well, I don't know. Kind of want to try to get up over there. One more spot I can see that definitely has some good water. Yeah, that's what I'm going to try to do real quick. I'm going to try to walk up here, get to that one more good looking spot, and then I got to go back down towards my brother. He might be wondering where I'm at by now. I think he's probably quite a bit back there. He doesn't walk near as fast as I do. I like to really, really cover water. He likes to sit there and try to make fish eat that he sees, so I cover a lot more ground than he does. I remember the last time I was down here, though, it was kind of weird kind of the same deal I was seeing less and less life the further I got down this way even when I got to deep holes it's kind of weird I don't really understand it but I had the same experience last time actually all right well I fished pretty much what I want to fish here I can't fish the rest of this effectively like I want without getting wet so I'm not gonna do that right now might drive up to that road right there in a little bit with my brother after I pick back up with him might drive over to that road and go further down that way but for right now I'm just gonna go back towards him and then fish the other side of that bridge like I've been talking about doing here hmm. bunch of little guys in this corner but don't see any good bass interesting Nice deep hole right there. Yep, tons of little bass and perch and stuff. Hopefully right over here is where we start getting some good ones though. This is where it really gets deeper. 
Golly. So much stuff floating over here, it's crazy. You know what? I'm gonna go to a, a wacky rig Senko right now. That's what I'm gonna switch to. I was thinking about going to a little topwater frog, but I'm actually kind of scared to be throwing it on this setup that I've got with me. 12 pound line and a pretty light action rod. Don't really have confidence sticking them, hooking the fish in that situation, so. I'm gonna go ahead and just put on a little wacky rig Senko here. I'm not gonna throw this color that I had on that hook already though. That is one of my favorite colors for the springtime, but around this time I want something a little bit more shad-like, so I actually got a little Senko here that I've hand poured myself. It's got a little bit of silver and blue on the underside and then green and black flake on the top side. Nice little bluegill or shad imitating color. All right, let's throw this little guy around and see what happens here. A little bass right there. Ooh, bunch of bass right here. Some of them look like they might be all right too. Not super tiny at least. Trying to just sneak my bait over here in front of him. Oop, another one out there came up to it though. Oop, got him. Oh, wow, and there's a better one too. This is a little guy. Dang it, he just came off, I think. Yep, he did. Golly. Uh, can't get my bait on home. Come on. Wow. Bunch of bass right out here. Whole bunch of them just staring at me right now. And I can't get my bait on home. Golly. Whew, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This is crazy. My bait's all jacked up with all these fish sitting right here. Come on, fish. Please still be there and be wanting to bite. Oh yeah, there's still a bunch of them. Oh golly. Jesus. Spooked some of them though. Spooked a bunch of them. There's still a few of them looking, but spooked a bunch of them. Oh yeah, there's still, golly. There's still a ton of them down there though. Oh yeah, there's a decent one looking at it. Oh, golly, he spooked off for some reason. Gosh, it's like my rod movement spooked him off when I went to twitch the worm. Still some more looking at it though, golly. There's a bunch of bass down here. A whole bunch of them right now. Wow, wow, I wish the water was more clear so you could see this the water itself is pretty clear but there's so much stuff on the surface oop yep golly just had another one dang it ah <sighs> just had one swimming with it you know what i'm not even going to put that little guard on there because i'm not worrying about grass right now golly that was another bite there's just a ton of bass out here right now in front of me Spooked a bunch of them though too. Not a whole lot of them still here. I'm not sure where they went to. Probably moved down that way somewhere. Probably gonna come right back over here once I leave, but goodness gracious. There was a ton of bass down there for a little while there. All right, well, come as far as we can this way. All those fish back this way were the last fish that I saw actually. I haven't seen any more bass since I saw that last good one, so. I'm gonna head back down towards the car. This will probably be the last of our fishing for today because I didn't bring anything to drink and I'm absolutely dying of thirst right now. But anyway, if that was the last time, the last cast, it sure was a fun day anyway. Mm -hmm.